Hey neighbor, we're gonna be talking about peppers today. Now peppers are by no means the most popular thing grown in the garden, but it is one of the essential things growing in the garden as far as I'm concerned. They're generally not real easy to grow. And once you get the hang of growing peppers, you'll say, man, I got it. Peppers are wonderful because we use them for all different kinds of things. Mama Hoss loves to make salsa, so it's very important that we grow peppers for her salsa. We love stuffed peppers. There's all different ways to use peppers and you should be growing them in your garden if you're not. We're gonna go over some of my picks today on pepper. Now there's probably hundreds, if not thousands of varieties of peppers out there. And we're just gonna go over a few today to give you some insights on some you may wanna grow for 2024. Well, let's start out talking about bell pepper because bell pepper is the most popular pepper period. And uh, there's several different ones of them out there. Now with bell peppers, unlike tomatoes, we don't focus a lot on taste because to be honest with you, a bell pepper tastes like a bell pepper. So the breeders don't spend a lot of time on taste on bell peppers. They do spend a lot of time on how productive the plant is, disease resistance and things like that. But as far as taste goes, you've never had your neighbor say, oh, that bell pepper tastes better than that bell pepper. A bell pepper tastes like a bell pepper, unlike some of the other type of peppers that we'll talk about today. Well, if you're wanting to grow a green bell pepper, which is the most popular pepper grown in home gardens out there, I don't know why anybody would want to grow anything besides the Halsinator bell pepper. We looked at several, several different type of bells and we ended up going with this one because it's very uniform, very consistent, and has a great disease package here. This is a hybrid right here and it's got good bacterial resistance. Now, what you will find out with growing peppers is disease and insects can really work on you as far as growing a good bell pepper. So anytime that we can get good disease in on peppers, it helps you be more successful. And that's what this variety right here's got. It's got good disease resistance. It's got consistent production. It's got a good structure to the plant, good leaf there. And if you're gonna grow up and down the East Coast or in the South US, this variety here will perform absolutely wonderful for you productive variety. It has consistent yields of extra large uniform fruits that are five by four inches wide, five inches long, four inches wide. And it has that dark green color that we love in bell peppers. So I know we got more on our site to sell, but I recommend the Halsinator bell pepper for everybody that wants one of those big, pretty green bells. All right, on the Halsinator bell pepper I just showed you, it is a green bell pepper, but there at the very end, if you leave it on there long enough, it will turn red. However, what we have here is Maximus red, red bell pepper. Now this is a great variety. Again, good disease resistance, but this is what we call a red bell pepper. Now this one's gonna start out green, but it's gonna turn red real quick, unlike our Halsinator bell pepper, which is considered a green, although it will turn red late in its life, this Maximus is gonna turn red a lot quicker. So therefore we call this a Maximus red bell pepper. Productive, delicious. It has a, it, it's a early and fast turning hybrid for the Southeast United States and for the East Coast and South. There again, it's the one of my picks right there. Resistant to bacterial spot and has a very strong plant structure, which is important on these bales. I do recommend staking them up a little bit because these fruits get real heavy. So you need to pr uh, protect these plants with some type of staking system there, whether it be the Florida weave or you use some kind of, uh, of cage here top-notch fruit quality with this Maximus red bell. All right, we love our colored bells, and here we got the Halsinator yellow bell right here. Again, top-notch disease resistance is what it takes to be in the Halsinator series here. Reliable production. Now this right here, I love the color on this. It has that bright yellow color. It's gonna start out green, but it's gonna turn that color real quick there. It's gonna make like a three-inch pepper smooth, slightly elongated, and ripening quickly to that yellow. Uh, it takes a little bit longer for these to mature than the, the green pepper, our Halsinator green pepper, but definitely worth the effort. And we had to have an orange, so we got a Halsinator orange bell here, same thing, good disease resistance there. Extra large fruit there, smooth fruits, and they turn that orange quick. Gonna be green, but when it matures out, it's gonna be orange. It has uh, resistance to bacteria spot, also, it's got a good taste, and this is here's a good fresh market variety right here. 
takes a little bit longer than this one right here along with the yellow to mature than the green does but well worth the effort all right here we go now these are some of these weirder varieties we're getting away from the bales here and this is orange you sweet this is a hybrid variety it has compact plants now this is going to work good for you guys with container and raised bed gardens here these fruits are sweet and have a flat and round shape that make them great for stuffing we love to put these right here on the grill with some of that uh, sausages or cream cheese in there orange you sweet variety here is a favorite of mine all right, we're going to switch it up a little bit here and go right on red. Now, this is those pimento type pepper here. It's what I call this one right here. It's that short, flattened type right here. Another one that we love to stuff and put on the grill or in the oven. Uh, of course, it's a sweet pepper, but I love the flavor of this because it's more of that pimento type flavor. Early maturing, compact plants, heavy yields. And the peppers have kind of a citrus flavor to them. Lends itself well for, for containers because it has that short, compact plant. This is one that I grow every year. Yes, the yellow, which is very similar to the right on red I just showed you there, except it's yellow. Compact plants, bright yellow fruits. Man, they just load up. And these have the sweet, the sweet flavor as well. They have thick walls on them, so you can core them out. We take the tops and cut them out, core them out. Stuff them with whatever your favorite feeling is. Put them on that grill. Wonderful snacks or for a meal. All right, we got to have a banana. I love banana. Uh, I love banana pepper flavor. This right here is a hybrid variety. Probably my favorite banana pepper. It's a Hungarian style sweet pepper. Heavy yields on this one right here with seven inch fruits. Has that bright yellow. Matures out to an orange red. Great for processing, pickling. We like to stuff these as well. It's got a great flavor to it, and these things last a long time. Uh, another one of those that I recommend probably staking or trellising up uh, so that you can support that plant because it's just going to load up with those fruits. Hindigo poblano pepper. Well, if you've never grown poblano peppers, you need to try them. These things make those big old six and a half long, about three inch wide fruits on there. Uh, poblano and ancho peppers is kind of what some people call them. I just call them poblano peppers. Now the flavor on this right here to me is probably my favorite. And those pimentos are probably my second favorite, but I just love the flavor of these poblanos. A lot of people don't stuff them, but we stuff them as well. We cut them up, we use them in salsa, we use them all kind of things. Poblano peppers are easy to grow. But what you want is a plant that's very productive and has disease resistant. And this Poblano Hindigo fits the bill on that one. All right, so let's get into what we call the snacking peppers. You've probably seen these in the grocery store before in the little bags. Pretty peppers, different colors here. Have the, the snacking type peppers is what they're classified at. This one right here is Ruby Delight. Now this is a strong, vigorous plant right here. And it, it sets fruit real early, continues throughout the season, has a long fruit set throughout the growing season. Crunchy, flavorful peppers that you can just pick up and eat. They're the perfect size and they have that smooth, gross, glossy fruit color there on them. They, uh, they mature out to a deep, deep ruby red and make a colorful addition you know, to any dish. All right, Lemon Delight here, same series as, as Ruby Delight here, same type pepper here, grows good in the heat of summer, yielding up large sweet loads of those yellow snacking papers. This is the yellow right here. It, uh, it sets early and it's going to do just like the Ruby Delight. It's going to give you plenty of peppers throughout the growing season. Good snacking pepper. All right, so we had to throw a jalapeno in there. Everybody loves their jalapeno. And then this is the Halsinator jalapeno right here that we're really proud of right here. Uh, a unique combination size, quality, pungency, and it yields up and it's fairly early. Now this popular variety right here has been very consistent with high fruit quality, with good size, smooth exterior, with a dark green color. Now this one right here is gonna be widely adapted all up and down the East Coast and the South again. This is the jalapeno you wanna grow. Now, this is what we consider a medium heat jalapeno. If you go with the Scoville units, this is gonna be somewhere around 2,400 Scoville units. So this is not one of the mild ones. It's not one of the hot ones. This is gonna be 
that medium jalapeno that probably everybody wants here. Now, one thing about this variety right here, it's gonna, when, when it matures out, a lot of people don't know when to pick a jalapeno. With this particular variety, it's gonna have the most flavor and be at the peak of its freshness and at when it starts cracking a little bit. You know, you've seen those little cracks on jalapenos. When you see this thing start cracking just a little bit, that's when you want to pick it. It's going to be packed with the most flavor and it's going to be at the best maturity stage at that point. A little tidbit there on that one right there. This one right here matures out at 60 days. Just a great jalapeno. All right, I'm going to give you guys a bonus right here. Uh, if you probably noticed, we haven't talked about all hot peppers. The reason is I don't care for a lot of hot peppers. But a lot of people do, and that's probably another day for another video. But I went over some of my favorites there, but I'm gonna throw you a little bonus here with Early Flame. Now this is a compact plant right, a compact plant right here. If you wanna make a hot sauce, a sriracha, this is it. A early maturing hybrid jalapeno type variety that is very compact. So you guys that don't have much room or you wanna grow those in containers, this is it right here. This thing's gonna uh, mature out from a dark green to a red. It's gonna come in early and you're gonna have plenty of heat right here to add to that salsa or anything that you wanna add a little heat to. We call it early flame pepper here. It is a wonderful variety, but especially for containers, matures out in about 60 to 65 days. If you've had trouble growing peppers in the past, it was probably due to either fertility, disease, or insect control. They can be a little finny to grow, but once you get it down pat and you start being successful, they're a world of fun to grow. Share with your family and your neighbors. Peppers take more fertility than most people think they do. Also, disease and insects can really hammer you down. One of the main things is pick one of these productive hybrid varieties that has that disease resistance in there. Watch your plants real close. If they start getting some fruit problems and we see that crinkling at the top of the peppers, or if you start getting some aphid damage, things like that, stay on top of it with a good spray program and you will load up and have plenty of harvest and you will be so proud of those peppers that you grew that you can share and enjoy.